Hi, good morning. My name is Namitpur and uh, I just completed my MSc in math. No. Hi, my name is Namitpur. I just completed my master's degree in mathematics from Guru Nanak Dev University, Namitpur, and today I will teach the topic of class 9 that is linear equations in one variable here is the screen presenting so our topic is linear equations in two variables as i said one and it is two but it's one so first of all we must know that what is the linear equation so an equation has two variables both of degree 1 means if we have this type of equation which has degree 1 degree 1 means x power and y power is 1 that equation is known as linear equation in two variables so ax plus by plus c equals 0 is also called standard form where a b c belongs to r and a b must not be equal to 0 and this is called standard form here are some examples of linear equations in two variables in which degrees of x and y must be 1 and the coefficients must belongs to real numbers the solution of linear equation in two variables is defined as the pair of numbers which must satisfy the given equation that number would also be called as solution of the given equation in two variables there are infinitely many solutions for a single linear equation in two variables it means it is not confirmed or any restriction that in for one equation there must be one or any two solutions there must be infinite many solutions next is the graph of a linear equation any linear equation is the standard form has pair of solutions in the form xy that can be represented in the coordinate plane as we have done in the previous year classes that on a cartesian plane we can draw plot points on x axis and on y axis and suppose these are the solutions of any line means these points are the solutions of any line and on joining these points by plotting on the graph we will get a line which is representing here by red line naming pq that will be a linear equation in two variables next is the line passing through the origin it means if we have given any line and if we want to show that that line must pass through a region that means we have to take x and y is values equals to 0 comma 0 so graphically we can represent as x y line as this this is the x axis and this is the y axis at y axis x must be equals to 0 and on the x axis y must equals to 0 this line representing as these are passing through the origin so here is the method to find solution of linear equation that how can we find the solution of given linear equations for this is the given linear equation in two variables on substituting first of all x equals to 0 in the given equation we will get on simplification y is equals to 2 here i am putting just 0 on place of x and we will get y is equals to 2 on simplification these two numbers so the first coordinate will be x equals to 0 and y is equals to 7 let x is equals to 1 in given equation oh 
Next is the draw the graph of following equation. If we have given any linear equation and uh, ask the to draw the graph, then first of all we will find solution. These are the solutions of the given equation. We have to find these solutions. So, to finding these solutions, we are proceeding the previous method as we have learned earlier. That is. on substituting the values of x equals to 0 in the given equation and uh, x equals to y for the second solution in the given equation on substituting x equals to 0 in this we will get this is as y equals to 3 so in the box we will write these values which we have find out that is on substituting x equals 0 we get 3 and uh, if we put x equals y in given equation we will get y is equals to 1 so this would be the next coordinate and these are the solution of the given equation so this must be satisfy the given equation and uh, this would be presented on the graph as this here x on substituting x equals 0 and y equals 3 it is 0 this is x axis and uh, this is y So on x equals zero, y equals to three. Here x is zero and y is three here. So this is the point where zero comma three lies. And uh, y, if x is one, y is one. Means x one is here and y one is here. So this is the point where x one comma one lies. So these on joining these two points, we will get a straight line which joins these two. Point. So this will be the graph of the equation 2x plus y equals 3. That's it. Thank you.